Right now, I feel like I just ran six miles. That's how I do with whiteboarding. What's going on, YouTube? So this is part two of the interview. I didn't know I was gonna get this far, but uh, last, I guess, a couple weeks ago, I did an interview for a front-end job with accessibility. And if you don't know what accessibility is, basically, it's for people that wanna use an application but they have a disability, so they need to use a screen reader or they have a certain type of color blindness. So if that's the case, you know, you have to give labels to all the HTML elements so that when you're tabbing down the page, keep in mind you have to design where you want it to tab to as well, that it reads out the correct label and someone that can't see the page will know where they're at on the page. Um, and the UI designer has to be very cognizant of the color contrast that she's using. So we had a Google Hangout scheduled for one hour. I sat down and gave my 10 minute spiel and then he gave his 10 minute talk about who he is and what they're doing so and what used, they're looking for. We used a I, I took what I was learning from the boot camp to build like this little filter because we had an Excel sheet that was like three miles long when you were looking for a specific part versus like I could just make like a little pipe filter and just have the two-way binding thing to just pull up what you need like instantly. So oh, that's awesome. Sure. Okay, cool. No. Well, let me tell you a little bit. Of, let me tell you a little bit about us. Uh, usually we go for like large businesses to medium-sized businesses. So we and after that, he says, okay, well, we have about 40 minutes left and I have two challenges for you. You can pick one. And they were in React. And he goes, I have two cool exercises that I'll let you pick. Um, one of them is, one of them is more around styling and, and it's the both react. One of them is around styling and um, making front end stuff happen. The other one is a still react, but it's more about data. Getting large chunks of data and sort of um, almost collating that data. There's a lot of like mapping and filtering and things like that. So I'll let you pick. Do you want to take one that's more front end focused and one that's more Data um, I have one challenge that is a data manipulation challenge and another one that is a front-end challenge. And me being a visual person, a front-end person, as I would call myself, I guess, um, I picked the front-end challenge. And so he asked me to share my screen and I'm sharing my screen and then he links me at GitHub. Um, you want to do the front-end one? Or yeah, let's do, do the front-end one. Let me share a link to it right now. I'll put it in the chat. Uh, honestly, for the first like 10 minutes, the only thing I'm thinking about is like, I hope one of my friends doesn't slack me right now with like, hey douchebag, what's up? Or like, my girlfriend doesn't text me something and I'm just like, but that's all I could think about. I'm like, oh shit. I didn't know it was gonna be like a whiteboarded walk me through or you know, I would've taken, I would've closed all his applications to make sure that can't happen. So basically he hits me with a, a GitHub link and he's like, all right, everything on the GitHub right there is what we want you to do. Please have a look and go ahead and get started. And so we only have 40 minutes, so obviously we're not going to tackle the whole thing. You just take people around a couple hours. Mm -hmm. so we'll just try to make it as far as we can. We can get the data to render so you can get something on the page. Uh, I'm just looking. I'm just doing the readme. Yeah, sure. Uh, if you want to share your screen, that way I can see too. We can just go forward, and, and this is like a two-way street too. So if you need help, you get stuck with anything. Sure. I'm here to assist. It's almost like a, we're doing a little pairing. Uh, I basically just freeze up because I have to remember if I have the most updated node, is my node going to run? Like when was the last time I did this? And so I'm just remembering how to do all of those commands pretty much for like, I don't know, a good five, six minutes. And he's like, please tell me what you're thinking. You have any questions? Just let me know. And so to know that while I'm navigating around, you know, he's just looking at my screen. Like, is he looking at my bookmarks? Is he looking at like the auto autofill history when I type in? Like, I, I don't know. I'm just in my head about it. So after... I get that up and running. He's like, okay, we have an API in there for you as well. So he had created an API. So I had to start an API that was generating some data. And then I had to take this other kind of console and then spin up the React app. And after that, I had to basically, it was just a kind of, it was just a blank React app with a couple components and then a fetch request to the API. So that was, that was it. That was the only thing in there. Um, basically, the whole entire goal of this task was for me to be able to create a contact list. So let me define what that means. So you have a search bar, you start typing in, uh, you have a list of contacts and they filter down, you know, auto matching as you start filling in someone's name. Another requirement that he wanted was to be able to click on their name and it would expand out and it would have like their name and the address and phone number and all that stuff. And then a little edit button here and you click the edit button and then it will just allow you in real time to delete and modify that data and then push that data back 
to the API. I was reviewing this yesterday, so this is how I, it would take me a second to type out the syntax, but how I guess I'm going to explain it would be like, I need to create a state and then push this information from the API into that state, which I would then map out into the context. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. It's just going to take me a second to remember the syntax to do it. I'm trying to remember the syntax for, for React pretty much. Last time I used it, uh, you had to use like a like a constructor with like a super in, in order to set a state and, uh, you know. I already have the fetch in there too. Yeah, I saw that one here. Yeah, so you have the data right there. Set your finger, is it? You don't have to do the constructor for it anymore, I don't think. So I was in my head about that, trying to figure out how to do it, and I was mixing the two together, and I couldn't get either one, like I couldn't get it right, because I was mixing this one and this one. Get a little state going? Yeah, got, got some state going, now I have to grab this data here. Um, Keep in mind, he's like watching me. He's like, tell me what you're doing. What's going through your head? Like, do you have any questions? In the middle of that, I'm like, bro, what do you, what do you want me to do here? And he's like, just do the thing. I'm like, well, what thing? He's like, just do the thing because you have this thing. I'm like, how do I do that? He's like, just, you know, it's vanilla. Just do this and this. I'm like, bro. And he's like, bro. And we're both just like. You could set data equal to nothing initially if you wanted like an empty array or something like that in your constructor and then you reassign it after the fetch is complete. That could be a good way to do it. And so I'm like, all right, I, I don't know how to do this. Like you're, I'm, I'm under a lot of pressure right now. I don't know how to do this. Can you just tell me how to do this? And then maybe the rest of it will start to click. And I put the information in and you know, suddenly it starts, starts to work, starts to come together. And, and I'm just stopping. I'm like, look, we've been here for like 25, 30, maybe 25 minutes now. And if you've already made up your mind because I'm just bombing this so hard, please just tell me like even close to getting this job. Just tell me because I don't want to waste your time. I don't want you to, you know, I don't want to bullshit you. Just tell me that I don't have a chance. Thank you for your time and we'll just close it down right now. And he's like, no, 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 no. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. I can see the rust start shaking off and I still don't have anything on the page from the API. Right? And so I'm just like losing, losing my bananas. And I had practiced. I prepped for this. I prepped for accessibility and all of the technical things that you need with accessibility about how to tab, all the different roles, all the different types. That's what I suspected he would ask me, not please spin up a React app and do this from A to Z, which I should have done, right? That's on me. Typically, those are more of like, here's this, please make that in a couple days and send it back. But it wasn't like that. It was just like, do it in real time. So I guess most people didn't get that far because he was still willing to waste another 15 minutes with me. Well, I call it a waste, but I guess he was still willing to spend that time with me. So um, I struggle bus my way through that until I get to the end. And uh, basically, <laughs> I end up with uh, the information displayed on the page, finally, like, at the la like in the last couple minutes. I'm like, all right, here's the data. And so like these fundamental, like kind of vanilla JavaScript things, like I was just kind of locking up on. You have to make that decision. Do you pull up Stack Overflow to show that you're resourceful? Or does it make you look stupid? Like, what do you do when someone's watching your screen? I end up with the, with the list on the screen and I'm sweating bullets. Like I can, you know, I can hear the sweat hitting the ground, it's like dead silent. I can feel the hair on my head growing. Like that's how in my head about this entire ordeal that I was. When you feel like this, you know, you got some weak points, you got some stuff you need to work on and it hurts at first. Um, but as long as you're, don't get upset about it, you're just like, all right, this is some shit that I really gotta, there's some stuff I really gotta work on. I need to improve at this. And it doesn't make you feel very good at first because uh, I'm the guy that makes these videos and I, you know, I, it doesn't feel good. And so I'm like, all right, that's cool. And I, now I know what I have to work on. And so at the end I was like, look, man, um, I would obviously need a ramp up period. I've done this. I am getting it. Like I did end up with an application. I didn't, I didn't have the sort or the styling or the filter or any of that. Uh, but that's way out of the scope of a 40 minute project for someone that hasn't use React um, from scratch in, a, in a, a quite long time. Maybe it just sounds like I'm making excuses, but I said, hey, bro, uh, I, didn't, I didn't say it like that. I was like, obviously I would need a ramp up period in order to get back on track. Like I know this stuff, it would just take me a minute to remember the syntax, remember the component will mount, did mount, all that stuff. Like I know it, I just need, I need a week or two. He's like, all right, I'll talk to my team about it. I was like, 
are you really? Are you just gonna be like, no? He's like, no, no, I'm not bullshitting you. Like he said that, I'm not bullshitting you. I'm like, all right. He's like, I'll let you know. Um, by next week, sometime in the middle of next week, you know, I might be able to do it. We have four people, we're looking for a fifth. You know, I think they might be able to swing that. That's it. So uh, the ones that put you on the spot and make you screen share and like walk them through your problem solving ability at the same time, they want to see how you communicate. But that's not an accurate depiction of how people communicate at work. You're going to be like, hey, dude, I mean, I know I'm new and like, I don't remember this thing. Can you help me? Not like some guy that's like eagle eye at you. Like, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Oh. Oh shit, he fucked up. Like, that, that's the worst, in my opinion. We have a Discord, be sure to check out Discord. Discord link is in the description below. If you wanna see more of these videos, hit that little subscribe button, click the bell, click the alert thing. I don't know how much you wanna watch these, but hopefully you wanna watch them every time I put a video out. That would be amazing.